Now that I have graduated flight school, come with me as I continue training and fly to new places in the pursuit of fun and adventure. Engagement. We don't, should I go with the crotch? Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to. Snap. So this fly, just so you know, like the goals or whatever, is one to kind of clean up your wheel landings, and on the stall landings, it's just kind of see where you're at to see if anything needs to be cleaned up there. Well, let's aim high and assume the worst. <laughs> Controls are free and correct. All right. Grab some shades. I already gooed up with sunscreen. There's some line of yours down here. Oh yeah. Is that, that how it was last time? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're doing it tangled up with your trim. All right. Stick in the pouch. So let me see here. We want to get ready for engine start. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go full rich. Okay. I'm going to uh, prime fuel. Oops. We got first things first. We got a boom, boom, uh, strobes, master on. Yep, that's it. And so just strobes, not landing and nav. Right, because you don't want to have ele electrics on because as you're starting it. All the juice from the battery is going to the starter. Right. As soon as it starts, you're gonna all that juice is gonna flow back to the battery. Right. And if anything else is on, it's gonna fry that. All right. Cool. So. So yeah, now crack the right. throttle. So we uh, a little about a quarter thing yeah, right there. And then like two. one, two. Three, All right. and that's good right there. Okay. Look it around, yep. check it around. Clear pop! Good on the mixture. Rich. Yeah. Let's see. Now you can turn your nav light on. Nav light coming yep. on. Cool. Turn on the radio. Yep. 
Uh, one, two, two point nine, and then the next one, if you want to listen to ATIS, is going to be one one nine nine two. If you don't want to listen to ATIS, you can just go one one eight eight two. One one eight eight two. There you go. All cool. right. Then well, uh, turn that volume just a little bit higher. Right about there. Perfect. That's good right. for me. Squelch uh, check. Transponder to alt. Transponder standby into alt. Uh, altimeter set of field elevation. Boom. And altimeter is at 740. 740. It should be 765, but I'm sure they'll give us a barometric reading when we start heading that way. Yeah, especially if we don't tell them we have the numbers. <laughs> yes. Um, and then you can close that latch on the door. On the, uh, no, leave the window open on the door. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no worries. All right. All don't right. add a bunch of power, especially once you get moving, because we're going downhill. But you can start taxing us out to one seven. So you'll make a left turn up here, and then stick all the way back, all the way, all the way back. They say I'm making a left. So yeah, I'm taking off to the south. Correct. Look at the wind sock over to the right. It's blowing out of the south. Oh, uh, yep, I do see. You'll probably pull back on the power just a hair. Just cause I'm, I'm idle. Oh, okay. I'm all the way back. Then, uh, yeah, just maybe slightly get on the brakes just to prevent us from picking up too much speed. Or else then you'll have to that's, get on the brakes even more. Yeah, that's why I was sitting here pulling the throttle back. Oh, okay. Cool. I knew we were we were moving okay, a, a little bit faster than we should be. Yeah, and plus once you crest the hill and, and we have a tailwind, those two factors are going to force you to pick up speed. I am encouraged. I am maintaining center line. Yeah, you're doing good. And just remember how to get this bird in the air without doing something stupid and forgetting that all my body extremities need to be doing something different. <laughs> Pretty much. Jack Hole. Arrow Country RV is on a one mile final for one seven full stop Arrow Country. Uh, you can, we can stop here and do our run up. So, uh, All right. can I go first tonight, Peter Rabbit? Can is controls, which you already did. Controls, free and clear and correct. Yep. And in this plane, probably more importantly are your rudder pedals, because you might have gotten that belt. You know what I mean? Even if you're right. flying by yourself, you could have done it to yourself. Okay. I is instruments, which we've already done. Uh, done altimeter, we've got a radio set for what we need. Um, Let's see, we are full rich. Prop is in all the way. Uh, we're ready to, uh, uh, let's see, we're gonna go up to uh, what, 1800? Yeah, but hold on, before you do that, where would the, can I go first tonight, Peter Rabbit? So can I go, go is gas, check your fuel quantity. Uh, gas, we are half plus some. This one, uh, almost full. All right, uh, can I go first? We don't have flaps, tonight is trim. Set your trim for takeoff, which should be about center of that. Expert <laughs> center. Uh, and then Peter Rabbit, this uh, Satabria is about to pull onto the runway, so we can just go where it is and do our run-up. Okay. Because we could have somebody behind us, we wouldn't want to blow them. So that is that is a Satabria. Yep, very similar to what you're flying, except if you'll notice that the wings are asymmetrical, they're flat. Yep. They have more dihedral to them. And it's probably also not a constant speed. Let's turn out to the north. Arrow Country. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's up, buddy? And uh, it might not be constant speed, and it's probably going to be 150 horse. So it's a le it's a step down from this, and it doesn't have uh, inverted fuel system. 
All right, there we go. Now you can hold, hold the short. brakes, hold, hold the brake back, 1800 RPM. 15, 16, 17, 1800 RPM. Yep, you can do your One, less than 175, sounds good. All right. Feels good, recover. Mag two, less than 175, sounds good. All right. Feels good. Recover, and now right. we're going to cycle the prop. Yeah, just one time is good enough. All right, then do the alternate air check right below the throttle. Thank you, traffic security. All right. Yeah, we're about 10 miles to the east and 25. All right, looking good. You can come idle on the and you can close the window. And I think, am I doing radio calls or were you doing? No, you were doing. I was doing radio calls last time. All right, man. I don't see anybody on final. I haven't heard anybody. Now, let's see, we're not latched. There we go. All right. Mr. Travis, got his real one left down one north departure, Aero Country. All right, you're good to go, man. All right. Aero Country traffic, 330 Mike Sierra, ready to take active uh, runway 17 active for VFR departure over to McKinney, Aero Country. Look, it's all tail trackers. All four airplanes right here are all tail trackers. Our kind of airport. All right, here we go. All right, raise that tail. Are you on the brakes? No, uh, you can't be on the brakes. Raise that tail, right there. All right, rudder. There you go. And 55 and rotate. Climb out at 80. Yep. Work the trim because the trim works me. All right, once we get here, you're going to point for that antenna off at the 45. And then remember, you want to climb an 80. I think you're climbing slower than that. We dip. Now we're back at 80. And then we can go 25 squared. So first on the power, bring it back just a little bit, like right there, and then roll that blue knob. Uh, Alright, looking good. We'll climb up to, I don't know, 2,000. And you can push us to McKinney's frequency. Walked over, and you can start aiming for McKinney, which is just another like 45 degree turn to the left. And then whenever you want, let them know we departed Aero Country inbound for pattern work. Ah, uh, sneeze first. McKinney Tower, Decathlon 30, Mike Sierra, just departing Aero Country, coming inbound to do a little bit of pattern work. Okay, Law 330, Mike Sierra, McKinney Tower, enter the right base for runway 181210 at 8, altimeter 2998. Uh, right base for runway 18, and got the numbers. 330, Mike Sierra. Cool. So you can power back and or lower the nose so we stop climbing, and then just kind of get over 380 over here. That's going to kind of be your uh, spacing for that base. There you go, that's a good heading. You don't have, have to pick it up here, just eventually, before you get to 75, try to get over 380. Roger that. Boop. And we'll start, like I said, with a stall landing. So that's the one where the speed is more critical on final. Too fast as a speed, it's going to make it really hard. And uh, good afternoon, McKinney Tower, uh, Cherokee 6833, Charlie is about uh, six miles to the north. We'd like to do a practice RNAV 18 approach. Cherokee 6833, McKinney Tower, Roger, maintain BFR and report. Yep, that's 380 right there. Yep. Altimeter seven. All right, we're going to remain uh, BFR and we'll report I Cody inbound 33 Charlie. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, we're here. Yep. 
There you go. You can probably turn eastbound now. That'll give you good space for the base. And then if you want to kind of get us down to about 1,800 or so. All right, so we're going to have a right crosswind. So as you flare, this stick is going to end up in your right hip pocket, right? Right hip pocket. Yep, because you're going to flare all the way, so it's going to be all the way back, and then you're going to have right aileron, so it's going to go more to the right. Yeah, were you holding brakes on takeoff? Uh, if I was, it was in inadvertent. Okay. I mean, I kind of had my, my heels were not on the on the floor. I, I will say yeah, that. Yeah, it felt like you were kind of holding brakes. Just make sure you you don't. You not only could you inadvertently flip the airplane, you know, but you're also just slowing us with the ground roll and just putting wear on the brakes. Yeah, it's not. Zero zero Mike, here runway one eight, clear touch and go on the go. Make left, close traffic. Three zero Mike, zero clear touch and go and on the go. Make right traffic. Thank you very much. Left traffic. I thought he's, did he say right? I thought he said right traffic. Uh, Kenny Tower, was that light, left or right traffic for 30 Mike Zero? Decathlon Zero Mike Zero on the go, it'll be uh, left closed traffic. Left closed traffic, got it. 30 zero Mike Zero. Alright, cool, and then just realize you've kind of been descending us, so I don't know if you can oh, do sure. that or no. Tower, three zero four four Tango, hold zero runway one eight. Ready to go. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so we're going to jump check. Gas is good on both. Undercarriage gear is down. Mix. We're going to go ahead and pull power. And then pop all the way Pop all the way in. Bentley. Uh, emergency gas is on. Hold on, hold on. Roger, uh, here, Mike's here. He, he told us he's departing. Charlie, is like Cody And uh, check 33 Charlie, how will this approach Germany? Uh, this is going to be a touch go. You see him, he's pulling up to the runway right now. Cherry 33, Charlie Roger. Number two, fall on the Kiss Lawn traffic. Turn okay. about a one mile right base, runway 1 8. Clear touch and go on the go left close traffic. Number two, touch and go left close right. traffic. Three, three, Remember, you got a tailwind on this base, so you're going to have a lot lower than I want to be. Yeah. 612 off, you'll be number three. Start turning us towards the runway. Up on about a four mile final, I'll point them out closer. You got the prop all the way forward? Be the prop all the way forward. All right. Traffic, 612 go. There you go, the traffic's starting to roll. All right, looking good on your altitude. I like that. A little fast, so try to kind of uh, exchange some power for speed. So pull out the power a little bit, and then slow us down. Just capture that 80. Once you're there, lower that nose to stay on it. There you go. All right. Aim at the 8. Yep. Yep. Cleaning that up. Yep. And I'd get some aft trim. It feels like that nose would just fall off if you let go of everything. All right. Yeah, get us back on the runway. No, still drive us to the right, because we're still like on the left side of the runway. Sierra 339, Mike Charlie McKinney, clear right to the end. Albuquerque Airport via radar all right, vectors. Come out on the power all the way. Let's Let's try try to get it in. So you're and going about 95. On the parts of the runway heading. Oh, we're going to hit the brakes. I expect 1 2000 once we're headed back. Lower your nose. Departure frequency 1 2 4. Hold that right there. Hold the squawk 0 5 6 1. 385. All right, keep coming down. Lower that nose a little bit because we're going to stall it out here. All right, right rudder and back pressure. Back pressure, hold it. Whoa, oh, whoa, too much. Mm -hmm. And big flare, big flare, big flare, big flare. Sears Snyder, Mike Charlie, read back, yeah. right? Got to get that shimmy over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get, the stick to the east is get the stick back. Left turn to the east is approved. Well, I just moved it forward to get rid of the shimmy, but as soon as you get rid of the shimmy, you're going to move it. Four miles southeast of the airport, I believe it's a power. God, shoot. these guys are talking so fucking 1, much. All right, go ahead and power up. Uh, we're looking out for zero four four nine. All right, one two. Race the tail. Falls a Cherokee on about a two mile. Final. A little bit of right aileron. That's the hair. Right aileron. Right aileron. There you go. Traffic I got speed. Tap the brakes. Climb out at eighty. Yep. Yeah, so you just over flared there, that's why we went back up. 339 on my McKinney Ground, runway 18, taxi via Alpha, Bravo 1. And then, yeah, if you feel a shimmy on the tailwheel, just move the stick forward until the Here's shimmy stops. Mike, here you can make left close traffic gear, discretion, archer, okay. to your left, they'll be leaving to the east. 
Roger, there, Mike's here. Um, just, if you feel a shimmy, just move the, the, the stick forward until the shimmy stops, but then get the stick back again. Four, 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 Tango is about your one o'clock and about three miles maneuvering altitude indicates uh, 1,700 just between the uh, two inlets of the lake. All right, we can go 25 Roger, square. Uh, we'll see if we can get eyes on it for you. Roger. All right. And, uh, okay, that's fine. And then we're looking for about 1,700 here next thing for pattern altitude. Yep. More, a little more RPM. 44 Tango has the traffic in sight. Yeah, it's a power parachute. 44 Tango, Rush, thank you. All right, you can probably turn us down one. There's the gravel pit or whatever the hell that is. Yep. A rock quarry. Rock quarry, yes, we'll call it that. The cab on zero, Mike, sir, extend down and I'll call your base. All right, 30 Mike, sir, extending our downwind. You will call our base. 30 Mike, CR. So right here, personally, what I would do, I would slow the airplane down as much as possible. Practice some slow flight. Get it to like 15 inches and hold our altitude. Don't let us descend. Yep, you're gonna have to trim it way back. Way back. We should be doing like 70 miles an hour or something. There you go. Then if you need to bring some power and to hold our altitude, that's fine. There you go. This will buy us some time, so we won't have to go as far downwind. And at this point, you can push the prop all the way back in because we don't have much power on the engine. You can do a gum check as well if you want. Gas on both undercarriage, or gas is good on both undercarriage, gears down, mix is full. Prop's full. Prop is full, power set. Switches all look great. Straps and flaps, we don't have any flaps. Watch your speed, you're gonna stall it here in a second. So V or best glide and VY are usually the same speed, and on this airplane it's 80 miles an hour. So anytime you get below 80, you're going to have more drag than lift. Okay. That's where you're going to have to bring in more power than you think you would need. I'm uh, just trying to sit here and hold 80. Yep. So try to get us back up a little bit in altitude. You, you, I think you descended us a few hundred feet. Yeah, we're at 1,400. Uh. My share base turn approved, runway 1A clear, touch and go, one departure, prior to arrival. Base turn approved, uh, uh, right for clear to land, runway 1A, 30 Mike here. Alright. This here is 339 Mike Charlie McKinney Tower, fly runway heading, runway 1A clear for takeoff. So we're going to do another stall landing. Okay. And uh, McKinney Tower, Cherokee 33 Charlie, uh, like this, uh, like to be uh, full stop on this next one. Roger, you'd be number two following the decathlon. They're turning about a one and a half mile left base from a one eight clear to land. Right, we'll be uh, looking for that truck. So then we want to be about uh, 85 over the numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And wherever it puts us on the runway, I don't care. I'd rather you be halfway down the runway, but at 85, than over the numbers doing 100. Archer 1 2 golf when you're able, early left crosswind. Early left crosswind, 6 1 2 golf. Uh, remember, you're fighting a headwind here, so you want to shallow your bank and drive us more towards the road. Roger, 1-2 golf, you'll be number three, fall in Cherokee traffic. They've just passed midfield on the down, and there'll be a full stop on my 1-8, clear, touch and go. I'd probably still keep driving three, it, just to level your wings, traffic. go straight. One, two, that way you'll have a longer final. If you keep kind of turning it, then you'll get wings level right at the numbers, you know what I mean? Right. Just trying I to think, give you, okay. Just trying to give you a longer final so you can get whatever you have under control. You could probably bring the power out a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. I mean, you might almost even go to idle. Here yeah, we are at there idle. Are. So we'll do a little here. slip, so drop the left wing and right rudder. Left wing, right rudder? Yep. Left wing down. Uh, right rudder. Right, yep. right rudder. There you go. See, our airspeed shouldn't be picking up much, but our descent rate should be increasing. All right, now you can get back to normal. We're still fast as hell. Yep. Archer, one, two, the brakes are a little bit. They're turning uh, left base now. 
Set the traffic in sight, 612. Lower your nose to keep that right there. Hold that right there. Don't bet you're letting your speed pick up. There you go. All right, little bit of back pressure right there. Not so much, way too much back pressure. Now hold this right here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Flare, 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 back, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Get us going straight, dude. Right aileron's gonna get help you. Right aileron. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Why? Left rudder. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Left rudder, left rudder. Here, I'll go. I got it. All right. All right. All right. We, we're gonna do <laughs> that was ugly as hell. We're going to do another stall landing. All right. All right. Get your trim and situated if you need to. Back here. And then go for it. Here we go. All right. Full power. Full Raise power. our tail. A little bit more forward, more forward. Right there. Hold it right there. Hold it. Trim keeps walking up on me. Have we flown that other airplane to Delta Lima? <laughs> what about it? Have we flown it? You no, 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 we haven't. Because you said it's more expensive. Yeah, 25 bucks an hour, but everything works in it. So I don't know. If next time you want to try that one, just to give it a shot, just to see if we can. Well, you know, every airplane can have its quirks. And, you know. Yeah, but like this one, the airspeed doesn't really work. Like, I'm having you come in at a faster airspeed than you normally would because it doesn't indicate. Alright, we're going to go 25 square. So first on the power. And then back on the RPM. Arch 436 Golf, RNAV, runway 18. Arch 436 Golf, McKinney Town Roger, runway 18, continue. Continue to 18, 436 Golf. Back, Jen. Thank you, sir. Get us back up to pattern altitude. Yep. You can probably turn us down one. Yeah, we're good. And then there's our pattern altitude, so get about 19 inches of manifold pressure. Keep turning us though, especially with this crosswind. Mike, sir, can you west. accept a short approach? Is he calling us? I, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, so nine, 19 inches. Yep. Yeah, zero, Mike, sir, can you accept a short approach, or do you want to extend to follow traffic? Oh, we can accept it. Kathleen Zero, Mike, sir, Roger, make short approach on my one eight, clear, touch and go. You can respond. All right, clear, uh, short approach, touch and go. Three zero, Mike, zero. Four, three, six, go. 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 Four, three, six, all right, we'll pass. Uh, so there's our numbers because we're trying to touch down a thousand feet down. So go 11 inches. You already pushed the prop in, you said. Yep. So go 11 inches. Out. Yep, right there. All right. You're good on the speed. Just trim it out for the speed. And now you can turn us within inside of 380. And we're going to do another stall landing. Oh, no, yeah, aim this direction just to buy us a little bit longer final. And you can kind of start slowing us down a little bit. Try to get us doing 90. Yeah, we're, we're 90. All right, perfect. Well, we're 95. Oh, well, I forgot the airspeed indicator's almost in up. <laughs> almost forgot, well, sorry. Yeah, no, no worries. <laughs> it works, it just doesn't read the correct speed. But it's still reading A speed. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess it depends what your definition of works is. Right. It's not sitting at zero. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're looking good. 
Yeah, you can slowly, don't make it too sharp or else you're not, you're going to end up short to the runway because you got a wind from the west that's pushing you to the east. So I'd probably like level your wings for a second, drive us a little bit more towards center line. <coughs> now restart a, a gradual turn to, to numbers. Alright. There you go. Looking good. Point us right down the runway. A little bit of right aileron. There you go. All right, you can go idle on the power. Just hold, no, idle, yeah, back. There you go. We're idle, back. Keep coming down, a little bit of back pressure. Right there, right rudder. And now flare, hold us right here. Hold it, hold it, keep coming back with the stick. Keep coming back, keep coming back, dude. Okay, that was all right. But so when I say hold, I mean hold your altitude. Oh, I don't mean hold your hands and not move. Number two, you know what I mean? Company Archer on a right? one and a half because that's where our flare way, height is, remember? Right. Keep telling you, come down, come down, all right, stop, two, hold it there, traffic. that's what I mean. Uh, clear touch and go, we made go. it work. All right, go for it. Full power, raise the tail. Right aileron, just that smidge of there, there you go. All right. Cool. Yeah, everything would have been good. You could have just held it off at the flare height for another second, a second and a half, but we made it work. Let's yeah, that wasn't too bad. I mean, that was better than the other one. For oh, sure. shit, that other one was dog shit and puke. Yeah, that was well, horrible. We're getting better. All right, well, let's do a few wheel landings. Okay. These, you can come in faster. You can come in at 95, 100. I don't care. Go 25 squared. So a few of those times when I about 10 feet, when I'm like add a little bit of back pressure, I'm for, I'm holding you from adding too much back pressure because you're wanting to add too much back pressure. Yeah, it's. Tricycle gear coming yep. back. No worries, I'm just letting you know that I'm holding you back from adding as much back pressure as you want, you know? Right. So then, when you're by yourself. Number two, fallen archer on about a one mile final runway, one eight clear, touch and go. Number two, fallen the archer, uh, looking for that traffic, Sierra Mike Sierra. All right, it said we're falling an archer. Uh, you can do your jump check. All right. Gas looks good on both uncarriage gears down. Mix. We're going to pull power here. Yeah, mix full. Prop is going in. So I would put the power back because it's weird that you're... So you either wait to pull the prop when we pull the power back or slowly roll it in. But I would pull the power back because then that's going to change like your altitude or your speeds or whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I'm holding 1,700. Okay. Assuming this thing is right. Alright, so we're still looking for that archer. Yeah. On departure, fly runway heading main. Oh, there he is. He's right. Almost one six thousand one zero minutes after departure frequency one two four point three. Alright, there's our number. So eleven inches. Uh, back a little bit more. You're like at 13 inches. There you go. Do about 100 miles an hour here, and you already pushed the prop forward. Micro man, uh, 16,000 for your final. Um, unless you want flight level 180, 16,000 is what I'm showing. Then uh, 5261 for the transport. You may have said that. Rest rate back is correct. All right, looking good. We are doing a wheel landing. Correct. Props in. So good. when you hear me say add a little bit of backward pressure, less backward pressure than you have been adding, and bump in some power. So 
doing a wheel landing. We want to be 100, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, you got to do it. Drug in approach like this is fine. It's going to make it easier for you. It's already going to be flatter, like your descent rate's already lower, right? Well, I wanted maximum runway. No, no, this is fine. All right, just, yeah, kind of lower that nose a little bit, then add a little bit of backward pressure right about there. Just hold the cowling right there. Just hold Actually, it right there. Keep your base hold it, this one. hold it, and pin, uh, pin it. Yeah. Keep it in there close. you go. Six, one, two, go. Oh, right aileron. Keep pushing that nose forward. Nose needs to come down right there. Don't, oh. no, no more than that. I'm holding you from going okay. more than that. Just concentrate on your directional control. Left rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Right rudder. Keep moving that stick forward. Keep moving it forward. There you go. Oh, it's going to stabilize you if you keep it forward. It's when you get in that halfway position. All right, all, all right. the way back. All the way back. Ooh, buried it. Get that directional control, dude. Oh, right, right, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, right rudder, left rudder, left rudder, left rudder. Get it under control. There we go. All right. That was nearly as violent as the last one, but... Tame the beast on that one. <laughs> all right. Get that trim right. under control if you need to. Uh, here we go. All right. Full power. Raise the tail. Raise the tail coming up. More, more right there. That's where you want. A little bit of right aileron. Just spin. There you go. See how now the weight's equal on both wheels? All right. You got speed. You can rotate. Four mark drive here right again. All right. We're going to do like two more wheels. Let me get you Roger. Hold short runway 1H still waiting on the IFR release. Pitch for 80. Alright, climbing out at 80. Alright. Yeah, do your approach just like that one, the same height and everything. That worked okay. out well. We could have had just a smidgen more power. Just a smidgen. As you saw when we touched down, we still had some downward descent. Alright. Jeff on zero, Mike Sierra, extend down and I'll call your base. Three zero, Mike Sierra, we'll extend down and you will call our base. Alright, I would slow it all down, man. Because that's all he wants is time, which he's converting to distance, but we're going to convert it back to time. Alright, I'm holding altitude, just, what am I doing, 85? Yeah, you could probably try to bring it back to 15 inches. All right, now you saw that now your manifold pressure moved your RPM. Tower. Whenever that happens, you can just push that prop in. You know what I mean? Right. Whenever your throttle starts moving the prop RPM, right. you can just push it in. You're not going to damage anything. Okay, well, I'm just getting in the habit. It's, it, you know, a big hand, so it's easy to just rotate it, and that way you don't get in the habit of, you know, pushing it in. And and BFR and report. Uh, chip up, game band, be advised, glide slope is uh, no amount of service. It'll be a localizer. Roger that, we'll put report uh, Jap again, and uh, no, we'll go out from the clock, but it's uh, just 50. All right, we do have the localizer, just snow glide slope. Uh, Roger, no glide slope, just 50. 75 at 3, I should limit McKinney, uh, ground runway 18, thanks to the Alpha, Alpha 1, Bravo, Bravo 1. Only one ain't clear touch and go, that'll be one departure power to Alright, we see that uh, departing traffic and clear touch and go. Three zero Mike Sierra. Cool. Now we can go back to normal. Left crosswind. There you can left crosswind. You can go 11 go. inches. Calling off of Arrow Country. Or actually, uh, probably a little bit more because we're Four lower. Two, Romeo, Number 42 Romeo Tango McKinney now turn the right to down one at midfield for only one eight. The one's 2006 altimeter 2998. And then you already got Five that down one midfield for Romeo one eight. And we're going to do a wheel landing. Wheel landing, 100 miles an hour. Yep. Yeah, Liberty 
situation. I mean, you could do it at 90. Like. My whole point was that it's not detrimental to carry extra speed in a wheel landing like it's going to be in a stall landing. Liberty you know what I mean? Right. That's my whole point. Flight. You can do it at 80. You're just going to have to add more power. You know Roger. Contact regional departure one two four point three. We'll see ya. Three four three four. Okay, tower six one two golf. We're gonna make this one our full stop. Departure one two golf. Roger number two. Falling to camp on shore. Final runway one eight. Clear to land. Number two. Clear to land. Look for that traffic. One two golf. Pull some power back just to, so we can get on a reasonable portion of the runway. Yeah, keep what you got right here. This is looking real good. It's nice and flat. Once we get a little bit lower, you're going to add just a smidgen of back pressure and power. So, right, yeah, right about here. Yep. Right about there. Hold that right there. Just be patient with it. Be patient. A little bit of backward pressure right there. Hold that right there. Pin it. Pin it. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Going straight, dude. A little bit of right aileron. There you go. I can read. really concentrate on going straight, but you got to keep feeding that stick forward because by holding the nose where it is, you're providing stability. Number two, falling in Archer, uh, just on a left base over the highway when able to report that traffic inside. There we go. Come on. Stall on me, baby. We're only paying a word looking. All right. Ooh. Hold it back. Get going straight. All right. Power up. Get center line. Come on, right rudder, left rudder. All right, right, all right. We are on. Here we go. Raise the tail. Right there. Don't push more. I'm holding you from pushing oh. more. Rotate. All Hit right. Brakes. So that was good. I noticed it on last time, then I forgot about it. Don't worry about the power. Worry about pinning it. Then worry about the power. Because what you're doing is... You're only right base is approved to square the turn to final number two. Runway one ain't cleared to land. What you're doing is the second the wheels touch, you're pulling power back. But don't worry about the power. Okay. Worry about pinning it. Then pull the power back. Boop. We'll do one more and then head back home. All right. I'm starting to feel like a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, you're getting hot up there? Yeah, a little bit. I felt, wanted to know what it felt like to be in a convection oven. There you go. Well, this is nothing, man. It's, what, like 80 degrees outside? No, it's 91. Is it really? At least that's what my truck said. Okay. Uh, whether or not that's accurate, you know, who knows. That's one thing. My approaches are all beautiful. Still, my landings need a lot of work. Yeah, no, they're getting better, man. I mean, that's why it takes me seven hours to teach you. Oh, and we'll do it. Archer 1, 2, go. Oh, we'll three, taxi straight into parking monitor to ground. There's your land, let them know we're going back to Arrow Country after this one. Roger that. See this little piece of metal right here on the wing? Yeah. Chef on zero, Mike Zero, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Uh, runway 18, clear, touch and go, and uh, we're going to be departing after this back over to Arrow Country. 3 0, Mike Sierra. Chef on zero, Mike Sierra, roger on the go, right turn on course approved. Uh, right turn approved on the go, 3 0, Mike Sierra. If you're about a thousand feet above the ground, okay. November, that two, little uh, bar right there, three. if it's on the runway, that's the correct spacing. Going to Moa. Huh. Two, right so there. that bar was on the runway when we were flying on the down. All right, so 11 inches. Pop all the way forward, pitch for about 100.
This time I had good, good pattern altitude, so I'm not any too low, that's for sure. Yep. But those lower drugging approaches, which I hate, are easier for you because we're already, you're not having to negate a lot of downward descent, you know? Right. You're already kind of flat, which makes it easier here. You're just going to have a steeper approach, which is just going to force you to flatten it out lower to the ground, you know? Right. Which is kind of more of a slam dunk move. Let's see if I can end this on a high note. <laughs> well, we still got to get into Aero Country. Well, that's true. Looking good on your speed. I'm probably bumping just a smidge in the power. There you go. Come out with a little bit of power, just to get us lower on the runway. Then, right about here, add a little bit of backward pressure and some power. A little bit less backward pressure. And now, yeah, oh, no, don't do that. Don't make big moves like that. Just be patient. It's going to come to the ground. Just pin it. And now power back. But go on, get going straight, dude. Don't fucking shear the wheels off this thing. That neck collar needs to be slightly lower, right there. Right aileron, you have a right crosswind. Oh. Uh, right rudder, right, left rudder, right, left rudder, right, left rudder. Right, right rudder. Right. Left rudder. Right. Left rudder. Right. Back. Back. Back on the stick. All right, go for it, man. Oh, hold on, not straight, not straight yet. Go for it. We either need to go for it or turn it. Alright, raise that hill. Right there. Clear for the option on the go left close traffic. Don't push more than that. Alright, you can rotate. Cool. Not bad. We're getting there. Maintain VFR report bird inbound wind 1906 altimeter 2998. Maintain VFR and uh, report bird inbound. Hey, take a X-ray. All right, you can probably do a right turn now. And you can go 25 squared. Get that. Sir, say 30 McLean, McKinney ground runway 18, tanks to be Alpha, Alpha 1, Bravo, Bravo 1. Altimeter two nine nine eight. Cool, we'll go up to like two thousand feet's fine. Alright. And then you can point us. Yeah, on Jeremiah here appears to be uh, at least two or three on the scope over there at Aero Country your frequency change is approved. Alright, frequency change approved, thank you, and have a great day. Three zero Mike here. You too. Alright, let's do like a forty five degree turn to the right to put us in that northern area. So we can go do those aileron rolls. Alright, that's good on the heading. Helicopter 72063, McKinney Ground, you're clear to the uh, Austin Bergstrom Airport via radar vectors to Waco. Victor 17. You can push us to Aero Country's frequency. And then direct. We'll kind of start getting an idea of what's going on over there. Do you want to go to 2,000 or 2,500? No, we can go 25 if you want. Oh, hitting a little gusty stuff. Uh, 
God, look at that haze. Holy crap. Where do you say you live? I live over Lowry Crossing, which is pretty much directly east. Maybe on the, on the next next one, we'll fly over our neighborhood. Okay. Is that not Wiley, or is Wiley further down the road? Wiley is south, south east of me. Oh, okay. Is Wiley not off of 380? No, no it's not. Oh, okay. houses in, then I'll do a few aileron rolls, and then we might just do like a long left base, because there's traffic at the airport, a lot of these guys don't even know what an initial approach is, <laughs> so if we start doing that, it's just going to discombobulate the whole situation. And you just had somebody, just was on the uh, Facebook page announcing, we've moved in, come watch our band, boy band, play in the hangar. Oh, really? Yeah. At Arrow Country? At Arrow Country. That's funny. Yeah. I know that pisses a lot of the residents off royally. Air country traffic, 799 Gulf Hotel, turning left crosswind, 17, Air country. Why do you want to see an aileron roll? Just in case I ever get into one. Oh. Uh, kind of like, you know, spin training or something like that. Got it. I see. Uh, see the airplane? Down, your, your controls? Yeah. You have the controls? Yeah. Alright, we're just going to pitch up at a 45, like right there, right? and just full left aileron and some left rudder. And then once you get around to right here, you're going to want to add back pressure, or else that nose is going to fall off. Okay. That's it. That's an aileron roll. You want to do another one together? Yeah, let me, uh, you know, you're not doing anything with the rudders. Yeah, I did a little bit of left rudder because it would be really uncomfortable. Here, I'll show you one without the left rudder. Okay. Just I've got my fingertips on the stick. That's yeah, it. You're good. All right. I won't do any rudder, just uh, aileron. Okay. And then we'll do one after that with rudder, and then you'll tell me the difference between the two, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, Rob, are you up? All right, that was no rudder. Okay. Just aileron and the back pressure. Right. So I noticed without rudder, you had a correction at the end to get kind of re-coordinated. Uh, no, I added some back pressure, but I, I shouldn't have added any. What kind of correction are you saying? Well, it's like we came down, and then there's kind of felt kind of a swishy thing going in the back. Is it kind of lined back up? And Maybe I inadvertently used rudders at the end, but I didn't use rudders during the roll. Right. And you felt like it, I don't know if you noticed it didn't roll really well, and we were all to one side of the airplane. It did. It did kind of a yeah, it's kind yep. of like a swoopy. Yep. So now I'm going to do one with rudder, left rudder. Okay. And you're going to notice a difference. So there's our 45 right there. Okay. Yeah, we're rolling way better, and we're in the middle of our seats. Yep. Oh, yeah. I can, that, that was totally, absolutely. All right. Now I'm going to do another one without rudders so you can really see the difference. Okay. That was with rudders. This is without rudders. Yeah, it rolls like shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just shit. Yeah, and it's hard to get. Now, that right there, I didn't do anything with the rudder. That's just me rolling it back to our original heading. Oh, yeah. That was, oh, that was, that was dog food right there, man. Now I'll do a barrel roll, which is way better than an aileron roll. So on that one, I'm going to start rolling as I'm pitching up. Okay. So barrel roll. Okay, so that felt to me, well, I mean, so aileron roll, we were turn on the axis of yeah, the airplane. Yeah, aileron roll, you like pitch up at a 45, like right here. Right. You stop it, and then you roll. Right. Where a barrel roll, kind of the same thing, except for as soon as I pitch up, I'm going to start rolling. So right here, I'm okay. going to pitch up and start rolling already. Okay. It takes a little bit more because the aileron roll is, you're doing two separate things. You're doing pitch up, you're stopping, and then you're rolling. Right. With the barrel roll, you're pitching up and rolling at the same time. It's kind of like tapping okay. your head and uh, 
You know that thing where you tap your head and rub your belly. <laughs> you're asking a lot of me, Mateo. A lot of me. All right, man. Um, you're an airplane. I'm just trying. To, I have the controls. Yep. I'm just trying to send us back to 380 so we can get on like a three-mile right left okay. base for I one. See, I have 380 right up here. Yep. Uh, we are at. We are at. 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, okay. You can semi aggressively start getting us down. So I pull more power back. There you go. Oh, here, action. So when you do a forward slip, uh -huh. um, like on final, like we did earlier, right. you're going to bank the left wing, right? But bank. then the nose is going to go off. Wait, I'm going to hit right rudder. Yeah, just keep us lined up on whatever you're facing. And then you're going to, you don't want the nose to come up. Right. So you can make it more aggressive like that. Oh, wow. Yep. Well, I can be leaning up against the side of the airplane. Yep. But we're coming down. What's our descent rate? What's the VSI we're indicating? Uh, shit. We're a damn VSI in this damn thing. Oh, shit. We're 20. Yeah, 3,000 feet a minute. Now you can level us off. All right, cool. Now you can bring in some power and stuff. But keep tracking the south. We want to pick up 380 down here. So, yeah. So when you do a forward slip, you bring in left aileron, right rudder. And then you just keep us pointing wherever we're pointing at, but you're going to have to push down on the nose. Yeah, I was, I mean, that was pretty hardcore. Yep. That's an aerobatic airplane. Well, I, mean, uh, I was watching my buddy Austin Clemens do that up in Benton with the Stearman. Uh -huh. I mean, he cut power and just sides up the whole damn thing right into the grass. I mean, right. Of course, right. Stearman, you got an extra wing. I'd so. bring in about 20 inches here to level us off. Uh, yep, because we're about pattern altitude, right? Correct. Yep. All right, here in a second, you're going to make a right 90 degree turn and then make a call to Aero Country saying you're on a three mile left base, one seven. All right, you can probably do all that now. All right. Air country traffic, uh, three zero Mike Sierra on a three mile final for uh, making left. Oh shit! Go ahead and turn. Three mile final making left base for runway one seven. Three zero Mike Sierra. Air All right. All right. But don't descend us any lower. Keep your altitude here. I saw one guy right there. You see him on down when he's about to turn base. I see one guy yeah. there. Shit. Between the bug guts on the windshield. He might just be departing. Alright, there we go. Eyes up a little bit. Now, make a call saying we're on a two mile left base behind number two. I'm sorry, what was that? Make a call saying we're on a two mile left base number two. Aero Country Traffic, 3 zero Mike Sierra, on a two mile final for left base number two, Aero Country Traffic. Cool. We're going to do a stall landing. Okay. Now, if you want, you can slowly roll that prop in, just screw it in. So even though you have power, you can bring it in. You just don't want to jam it in. Where did that guy go? Yeah, guy's still traffic. off our Nine nose. Hotel is final one seven Arrow Country. All right, I see him. He's right off our nose. Right there, low. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. So I pulled some power back. We're kind of tied on him, even though he's an RV. He's flying slow as shit. All right, we're clear on final over here. Do a gum check right quick. All right, Just gas. Here, yeah. We're here, undercarriage, mix is full, prop is set, power, all right. switches all the good, straps and flaps, check is complete. All right, I'd go ahead and start turning final. Just remember, you got a wind that's pushing you to the east, so you don't want to bank too hard. And then here, we're going to want to be about 85, coming over the numbers. Then let them air your final. Aero country traffic, 3-0 Mike Sierra on making left base to final, runway 1-8. Aero Country Traffic. All right. All right. So I'm in runway 17. So you're doing 110 now. You should be That's doing about 85. All right, there's your speed. So capture it, but don't let it see. You, you capture it, but then you let it go too fast. I think you might not be trimmed enough aft for it. If we land in the grass, that's fine. It's no big deal. 
All right, there's your speed. We just can't come through the trees in this orientation. Remember, we got to come through the trees with our nose facing down. Right. So once we get past these buildings, we're going to nose it down. Yep. Just don't do it. Air country traffic, Southwest 6155 Golf is four miles to the north, coming in to the rudder, landing on runway 1. A little bit of back pressure, you're kind of coming down fast. A little bit of left rudder. Keep that nose down, don't flare out here. Keep coming down, and right here, hold it, hold it, hold it, keep coming back, keep coming back, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, beautiful, that's it man, hold the stick back, don't let the stick oh. go forward. Oh, that's right, wheels are on the ground already. It's going straight, dude. That was your better landing right there. Just don't ever let that stick go forward. Unless the tailwheel's shimming, then you go <laughs> All right, very gently apply very little brake. All right, get off of it. Oh, you're going to make this right turn out right here. All right, remember to bring in that left rudder at some point if you start over. Uh, there's an RV right here who's, watch out dude, there's an airplane right in front of you. I, well, I see him right here in the, in the driveway. Not that guy, this guy right in front of you. Oh shit! The guy that was ahead of us, who should have let us pass because he's forcing us to stay on the runway. Alright, go. We got an airplane taking off, if that guy fucks up, he's gonna go right into us. Alright, that RV should have let us come off the runway, he's like holding us, he's forcing us to stay on the runway. Alright. Uh, you can turn the radio and transponder off. I got the airplane. Your airplane? Yep. Alright. Go ahead and open the window, get some ventilation yep. here. Alright, your airplane? Yep. Alright, you can pull the mixture. Alright. Bags off. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like instant email notifications of channel updates, please find the link in the description below.